worry about a hurricane. This is Hurricane Delta already cruising over Cozumel, Cancun, the Yucatan Peninsula and easing its way into the Gulf where it'll pick up some more steam and winds are clocked. Yeah, pretty heavy, about 100 miles an hour, gust of 120. Uh, it's a category two right now. It'll ease into category three status at 115 miles an hour by midnight tonight, we think. And it'll probably make landfall, go down to a two, and then ease on into a depression mode. And uh, it will affect Louisiana, for the most part, in the edge of Houston. So if you've got family over there into Texas and Louisiana, be thinking about them. Here's how our forecast shapes up. Lots of cold air behind a cold front will be here into the weekend. It's going to kick up showers and some wintry precip as well, even lasting into the first part of the week. So that cold air and rain begins to move in late Sunday. We'll cloud up for tomorrow and uh, Saturday and late Saturday and into Sunday. It looks like a downer. OK, it really is is not comfortable weather like we're seeing right now. So the smoke will be the problem for the afternoon. We'll have some uh, some sunshine mixed with smoke and it begins to thicken up into the Sun Valley moving on up the road here to 15 and you'll start to see a lot of that uh, into tonight and tomorrow and it could affect football games if they're not already postponed or canceled. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast with hazy smoke today. It'll be 76 40 tomorrow morning as we start the weekend and you'll see the sun that wind begins to move things around this afternoon at 20 mile an hour gusts out of the southwest. So we'll pull in the smoke from Oregon and California and make for a smoky, hazy uh, and warm afternoon. And then temperatures begin to drop with the cloud cover on Saturday. The cooler air seeps in here. We get down to the 30s overnight and we'll see a tremendous temperature drop by Sunday. Slight chance of a shower and 52. It'll be below freezing for several mornings in a row and then we'll keep it in the 50s into the first part of uh, next week. The second full week of October and the mid 60s is where we should be for this time of the year and that's where we'll end up by next uh, hump day. Pocatello, it'll be 80 and hazy for the afternoon and 49 tomorrow morning, partly cloudy Friday. We begin to cloud up a little bit more, so we'll cloud up before we storm up and we'll keep it in the mid to upper 70s. Overnight lows will be in the upper to lower 40s. It'll be 53 degrees on Sunday. Slight chance of a cold shower, a chilly wet weekend ending and then 35 for Monday morning. Still in the 50s for the afternoons and we will be closer to normal for our seasonal temperatures than we have been in quite a while. So it'll be 68 by Wednesday and that's where Pocatello should be this time of the year between 63 and 69 degrees depending on where you are. Still chilly in the mornings. Jackson hazy and 75 and then 31 tomorrow morning and partly cloudy. It'll be 73 as we get into uh, tomorrow afternoon. Then we start to see more clouds on the build. You've got the best chance of any kind of precip, maybe some uh, wintry weather mixed in there too. Driggs Island Park, you're in the same category. It'll be about 44 degrees on Sunday and then we absorb that cold air and it sticks around. All next week we'll have highs in the low to mid even to the upper 50s by Wednesday, but still cool in the morning. <laughs> Overnight lows, hard to believe it. Yeah, well, Jackson, you're already freezing this morning or below that, but it'll be in the 20s close to 22 degrees for Tuesday morning. Here is our question of the day. What's the worst Halloween treat that you or your kids have received? Uh, maybe a can of tuna? Uh, did you get a toothpick? What was it that ended up in the bag for trick or treat? Okay, uh, we'd love to know. 208-534-9957. We play back your answers. Uh, today at noon, about 1228 during our noon broadcast on local news eight. So set the DVR, see what people had to say.